Thank you for joining us today. Uh, before we start, I want to talk a little bit more about um, jQuery and CSS. Here's a head page of a category stable in Assemble project. And I have added um, click me button here. And what we want to do is to figure out how to programmatically click save button on this head page from our buttons code. With uh, jQuery, usually your task is twofold. First of all, you need to figure out the correct uh, selector to access the HTML element on the page. And second, you need to invoke one of the uh, methods of that object. And we go to the add page and we'll see how we need to do this. OK, so our job is to click the Save button programmatically. OK, this is how we're going to do it. So I right click on the Save button and choose Inspect. It shows me HTML of this button, which is a A type HTML tag with a type button and certain class. BTN, BTN primary, these are bootstrap classes. And there is an ID. And ID is save button one. OK. So we go to, to the console. And maybe you are familiar with uh, jQuery syntax a little bit. Usually starts with a dollar sign and then in parentheses, you reference one of the HTML tags or by their name, by their type, by their ID, by their uh, CSS class, etc. So let's start with something simple. Okay. We are trying to access all A HTML tags on the page. So in the console, once you type in your code, you just press enter and it will get executed. We see that this jQuery code returns us uh, four elements. And if we expand, you see, once I uh, mouse over the element that shows it to me on the page itself. So there is a click me button, the one that I have added in the page designer, there is save button, there is a reset button, and there is back to list button. So great. Uh, we uh, did something and it returned, but we don't need all four buttons. We just need one button, which is a save button. So we need uh, to specify something that is uh, more specific. So we take a look at uh, our save button again and see what else we can use. We can uh, try to use attribute type equals button, but it will be the same for all of them. But there is something that is unique for this button, and uh, it's ID. So in our case, ID is save button one. Let's go back to the console and here's the syntax. We specified a HTML tag, and then in uh, square brackets, we can specify additional parameters, like ID equals save button one. We click Enter again, and it shows us our button. Not four buttons as before, but since now this code is more specific, it returns us a single button. What we need to do, we need to invoke click method of this button. Again, this is uh, a jQuery method. So first part, we figure out uh, the correct selector to address our HTML element, be that button or text box or pretty much anything. And second, we invoke a method like click. I press enter and see what happens. We did click our save button programmatically. 
and the record was not added because category name which is a required field was not populated so it's uh, pretty simple once you have the id of the button or any other element you can do it pretty easily let's uh, try something else that is simple let's uh, try to uh, change a background color of a description field for instance this using the same uh, jquery and a little bit of css we do inspect again and we also see the id is a value description of this input box so i copy it i go back to the console so now we do something similar but since this is not an a html element but input we type input and in square brackets we specify id equals value description one and we specify css css function uh, takes two parameters again that's a jquery function takes two parameters uh, first one is a css property which if i'm not mistaken is background and the second parameter is the value which let's try blue because it's easy to see something like this should work yep it worked blue it uh, looks ugly we can change it to light blue yeah much better okay so that was pretty simple but quite useful if you need to do something from your javascript and load event from your button code uh, from any place from the field event from any pretty much from any event where javascript is allowed just one more thing i wanted to to show so when you have a list page and uh, you need to reference edit page in pop-up for instance you may find that instead of uh, save button one you will have uh, ids like save button two save button three like a different id for every record so i just want to show you one additional thing that syntax is for starts with so instead of just id equals we can use id that means starts with it's called code is a little bit more universal this way you can also address the save button one of our users in forums asked how they can make on the welcome page the whole tile clickable and this is also something that can be done with the help of jquery first of all we need to see html code of this style so we right click on it again so this is a div that encloses both welcome item header and this is a header which is clickable and this is the content element that is not clickable we need to extract the hyperlink from the header item and assign it as a click target to our content element this is our code notice the dot in front of the name that means we are referring to css class we assign css property of cursor to pointer so we're going to use jQuery's bind function we reference again the same bs welcome content element and we call bind method this is a jquery method that assigns a handler to a certain event in our case this event is going to be click and the second argument is the function that will be executed after this element is clicked in this function first of all we invoke pref previous we our current element is content div and this one 
will uh, refer us to previous element which is header header div then in that header div we find a element and now once we have that element we get the value of attribute named href which is our url and now if we mouse over here it turns to a pen and then we click here it takes us to categories list page